Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I know it's still morning for me. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Hello, Beatrix, Satan, Tia. Good to see you. Hello, Bestie. Kara's here. Beatrix, good to see everybody. Hello, Pony. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm late to the party. So Foodie has been very busy today. However, I'll give you a little, I'll tell on myself right now. I streamed late and then I stayed up a little bit after that because I started falling down these weird rabbit holes. So this morning I solely got up to get a child off to school and I went back to bed. <laughs> I went back to bed. Yes, I did. So I did see Foodie uploaded a travel vlog and a live stream and everybody over on Twitter is talking about it. So I have an idea. I think we should watch the travel vlog first. We could watch a bit of the live until we get bored, and then we'll head over to the Twitter. Does that sound good to everybody? Hey, Poppy. Hello, hello. Satan, I saw you have a new upload. I need to go check that out. Hello, Kez. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. All right, so let's do the travel vlog first. I skipped through the cameo part because I just can't. <laughs> I just can't. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Flying red eye international flight i did see people were upset on how she was pronouncing the name of an airport i think it was all right let's go also make great birthday oh, or up. <laughs> we went out for iftar i've come okay. back to hear from you bye. bye hello welcome back to a mixed bag vlog this has nothing to do with my travel journey vlog but i forgot to add this during my last ramadan vlog uh, where we went out for iftar so this was supposed to be in that this is just me picking out some hijabs my my new navy blue one that you saw in my recent videos i'm just shocked they have enough material for you especially after seeing you like this like you are literally the shape of an s now so yeah that's what i got STD. i love getting new hijab as you can see my black one here mm -hmm. is very worn out and it was time for a different color for sure all right, so I got a couple undercuffs and a hijab. Well, it's that time again. It's that time again. Time to pack the CPAP and the fan. Oh, yay! And head on to the airport. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my fit for the airport. Um, have my backpack on. This is my fit. My new glasses that my husband bought for me today. Um, Salah's taking me to the airport now. I'm going to be flying a red-eye flight. Wait a minute. Do you see what's in the background here? The picture of her and Salah and a tiger? He did not put that there. I'm sorry, but... To Frankfurt, Germany. My flight leaves at 1.45 a.m. here in Kuwait to Frankfurt and then Frankfurt to um, Montreal. So, yes, Yella, let's head out. <laughs> As we were approaching the departure section of the uh -huh. Kuwait airport, my anxiety started to get higher and higher and higher all right about to go to the check-in counter i'm not trying to be mean but like mine would be through the roof if i knew i had to leave a cheating partner who was probably going to shit on somebody the second i got on the plane yeah there, there's my luggage see pop see pop yellow all right let's go check in yellow oh my god kind of felt like a real life game of frogger i didn't think that car was gonna stop to be honest beatrix said i think that they kicked you out i think so too hey mandy hey Stella. 826 how cute you're like a blueberry on a walkway i can see clearly now i have good glasses <laughs> <laughs> so since this time of Stella, I hope you have a good day and I hope we see you later tonight. Flying with Lufthansa Airlines, we made it over to the Lufthansa counter so I could check in. I am flying economy, regular economy as per usual for this flight. Check in was right as per usual. Are you watching MFW? Rather uneventful and pretty normal. It went smoothly. Time to say goodbye to my love for only God knows how long. 
I don't know. Right now in this moment, though, she looks like a blueberry that had like in a crime scene with the yellow. Well, it looks like yellow tape to me. I know what it is, but she looks like a blueberry who has had an emergency. And make my way through this zigzaggy thing. I hate time to go through security. I made it through security and uh, I'm dizzy adjusting to my glasses, but I'm going to get a water. I'm so thirsty. You think it has to do with the fact that they don't fit you properly? The duty free place here where you have to show your passport to get a water. Look at more tang. All right. Let's go get a $8 water. Look at these cool tins. Oh, there's the water. Oh, that's cool. I really want a gummy bear. 16 bucks. I'm so thirsty. I'm going to get a couple of these bad boys. A couple of these bad boys. This display is really cool here at the Kuwait airport. Yeah, it looks like it. Very cool. Hey, old wrinkly wiener. Very, it is very much Charlie and the Chocolate Factory vibes. Very much so. Huffing and puffing her way around. Hey, Chris, go, babe. So I'm at gate 26. Let's go. I always buy a ton of drinks at airports more than anything. Mm -hmm. Because of all the walking, it gets hot and I get very thirsty. So I try to get something with vitamins and low sugar. Hello, we for Fowlers. Good to see you, beautiful. Oh, I don't like this part. I hope we don't have to go in the air with her. Oh, here we go. I don't like it. She has bye bye Kuwait with a sad face emoji. Well, as fun as this is, in the air with her, I'm going to pour it a little bit. Of poor quality on Lufthansa. So I decided to try and watch Wonka, but I don't think Oh it's cool no! Timothy Chalamet. They also give us some dusty. You guys, that's the movie my sister made us watch on Easter, and I lost my damn mind. Like, I tried to hold it together, that whole dang musical. And then when they were twirling in the air with the balloons, I just couldn't hang anymore. It, I mean, no offense if you really liked the movie. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Yeah. Um, dates. <laughs> and to swallow that down, a bottle of water, but it was pretty warm, actually. You didn't have a glass of milk? They also don't have individual air vents. I was so hot and uncomfortable, like, the whole flight. They served a cold vegetarian sandwich they called it has cream cheese and peppers and things something about this evil sandwich gave me the worst indigestion oh, no. it was so uncomfortable it was so bad i like when planes have these little individual cup holders most do but some airlines i've been on don't actually so i love watching the flight map i like seeing where around the world i'm going to it's just a really cool concept for me look at her in there once i handed out these complimentary i'm sorry look at her in the reflection let me see. I love watching the flight map. I like seeing where around the world I'm going to. It's just a really cool concept for me. Your face was bigger than the world on the screen. Fonsa handed out these complimentary chocolates near the end of our journey. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Lucky you. Overall, flying with Lufthansa wasn't the best experience, but it wasn't the worst. So, it was all right. Wakey, wakey, time to land. This is why they call it red eye. As you can see, uh, I hate the transfer to terminal buses. They're always packed and they're always hot. So is this vlog just to watch you complain because you have to actually use your legs and walk places and be around people? All right, I got a seat on the bus and no one else needed one because I usually give them to elderly. But look how big the plane looks. Oh my gosh. And we are at the Frankfurt airport. Why do we have to stare at this person's rear end though? I'm going to make my way to security and my gate. I'm just literally so spent and exhausted at this point. Seriously. Yeah, so there's this, like, attraction at the Frankfurt Airport where you can sit and take a picture beside this um, Albert Einstein statue. I didn't bother going, but 
That's cool. That's considered an attraction? So I had to do a lot of walking and everything, but my gate B required that I take this little bus. So I'm waiting for the bus. Finally made it to my gate for Air Canada, going to Montreal, my fan. I got some more drinks, my puffer for my asthma. This is a sugar-free fruit and mint infused drink. It was pretty good, actually, and refreshing. I just had a thought. Is your mama going to go off on foodie beauty and how awful she is and threaten her because she took a picture of somebody's butt? I'm just curious. I heard he's going on a panel at one or he's having a panel where he's letting everybody come up and talk shit to him. So if you go up on his panel, can you ask him why it's not okay for people to film Amberlynn Reed from behind, but foodie can film people's asses? Gloomy early morning in Germany today. And here comes the plane I'll be on soon. I just got to clean it and get it ready. Flying Air Canada, I think for the first time, other than being young, for in my adult life at least. And I'm wearing compression socks to try to reduce the swelling and risk of blood clots. Oh. They're just black. They blend with my pants and shoes. All aboard seat 38K on Air Canada, Airbus A330 to Montreal. The screens are already huger and the leg room and the gut room is so much better. The gut room. Eight hours later. Oh, MG, I'm finally here. Okay. Having a cranberry juice. I'm starving. Like, are you starving? A uh, chicken sandwich. No, it's not halal, but they don't have halal uh -oh. food where I am. So sometimes so I'm not going to. Have gonna you eat. given up on your whole Muslim act? You're not eating halal anymore? Hello. <laughs> and sour cream and onion chips because I been missing these because you're greedy hey crystal people are gonna be looking at me weird over. probably talking to, my, talking to myself i don't think that's why they're looking at you <laughs> my favorite juice cranberry hey jess i'm like right near a bunch of bus stops so well the bread is so fresh it's like moist bismillah Put more mayo or something. Anyway. Anyway. Old Wrinkly Wiener said Sensa debunked the no whole, oh wait, the whole no halal theory. Really? I have to go there. I'm taking this express bus from, um, the musical I'm mistress. Airport. I'm go get my car. Well, I'm glad we get to watch you stuff your face. Thank you. The guy who was sitting beside me on the plane, mm -hmm. he kept spilling wine all over me. I'm so annoyed. I was so over it. I'm so over people. I'm so over traveling. I don't want to just complain because, you know, alhamdulillah, I've made it. But how did somebody spill their wine all over you? Were you all up in their seat because you take up a whole damn row? Walking I did, so my feet are like so sore. Those sketchers are not cutting it. I need better sketchers. Freezing. Oh my gosh. Oh my With god. Chicken sandwich on my teeth. <laughs> I look so old. You do. I'm 40 now. Dude, but there's 40-year-olds who look like 20 years... Like, they look so much younger than you, Foodie. You've just aged, like, really terribly. And you have the worst fashion sense. And those glasses look terrible on you. Let's carry on. Busy street. <laughs> I ordered my taxi. To go and while I'm going, please brush your damn teeth. To get my car. I don't know where I am. The bus dropped me off somewhere, I guess. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I ordered the bus ticket, but I don't know where I am. <laughs> anyway, adventure doesn't end until I'm in the Kia again. Tomorrow I'm going to clean it out. I have to get it fixed. It needs a little bit of repairs. Anyways. Well, you know you're in Canada when there's a Swiss chalet at almost every corner. <laughs> Hi, can I have a number? Um, where, where is it? Number three with cheese. Oh, number three? Yeah. With, with yes, please. With onion rings and a Pepsi. A diet Pepsi, sorry. Why are we talking like this? You realize you're 40, right? And your toppings are lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, and honey? Uh, no, actually, just ketchup, mustard, and relish, please. Ketchup, mustard, relish? Yes. That's it? That's it. 
I got the bag. Seriously, though, if you've never had Harvey's, the Canadian chain. Sorry, the Glasgow me. Um, they have the they have the best, and I'm starving. No, thank you. If eating Hardee's makes me look like you, I'll stick to a salad later. Thank you. Look ravenous. Ravenous. So to clarify for halal, because you're probably wondering, well, aren't you Muslim? Aren't you gonna eat halal? Rightfully so. I'm gonna try to, or I can, like if I go grocery shopping for meat and stuff. But sometimes, like, I'm not gonna worry about it as long as I'm not eating pork. So. Sometimes it's hard to find halal fast food here. I don't think you can at all. There's like one place. Uh huh. Central Bergham, I think. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I'm going to go down the long road now. Uh oh. We're about to merge onto the long road. So, for any newcomers, the long road is a road in Ottawa, Ontario. It's kind of my depression road or my mental health road. It's just like serene and calming and I always drive down here when I just need to clear my head and give myself a little bit of nostalgia or a mood boost or just to really think. So here's some food I've eaten so far being in Canada. I would be lying if I said Kathy, yes, all rules are flying out the window, especially when it comes to food. That food wasn't a huge part of it, unfortunately, but um, broccoli, cream of broccoli soup. And here is. A By the way, if you're new to Foodie Beauty, the long road she would take to go pick up at the outhouse. And if you're wondering, pick up what? What's the outhouse? It's literally an outhouse. And she would have like a connect and she would go hang out at the outhouse. Then she would suddenly be hyper AF. Her nose was always congested. And then she would go see Natter. Like, it's not this, like, oh, a place where she finds peace to clear her ment her mind. And she finds it, it, it. No, she would go pick up drugs and go stalk a man who didn't want her. Hot chicken I had, which is chicken between two slices of white bread with a bunch of gravy. And, of course, Canadian staple is poutine. Yum. All right, guys. Enjoy some Canadian early spring nature. As I say goodbye to you all and thank you very much for watching my vlog oh, and sharing this slice of my life. Uh, until next time. Bye, guys. Okay. Well, that was a little, like trying way too hard for me. <laughs> that was trying way too hard. Erin, I heard her say she flew home the first. Hey, Angel. I don't care if she wears diapers on board or not. Oh, wait. Hold on. Because your comment went up. Let me go back and find it. Give me one second. Sometimes on StreamYards it goes up. All right, let's see. Kessa, don't care if she wears diapers on board or not, but expect she needed them when overexcited by fast food. Yeah, <laughs> probably, probably. Sitting in a restaurant in broad daylight, eating during Ramadan. No wonder people are staring. Exactly. Hey, I'm Hobbs, by the way. She is pathetic. Okay, let's check out some of her live stream. And then we're going to go to Booty Beauty Twitter, where, like, everybody has been talking. She also changed her banner. Should I show that to you guys? Hold on one second. I guess we'll go see it over on Twitter because I think it was shared over there anyways. So let's skip her high hellos. I don't know. We'll go maybe two minutes in around that. Mimi, do you miss Kuwait? Yeah, I do. I miss Salah and my pets, obviously. Forest Faye? Yes, Michelle. Let's have coffee. Hi, Lisa P. Marbles. Tia, you wonder if she actually had wine and spilled it? Maybe the whole thing doesn't make sense to me. Like, how do you hold wine and there's somebody sitting next to you and you're just so what, throwing it out, throwing the cup out at them? Like, how does that even happen other than what I picture somebody trying to enjoy their wine on a flight and foodie spilling over into their seat? So maybe they threw some on her to be like, get the F off of me, bitch. I don't know, but I don't see how somebody's just sitting there drinking and spilling wine on her. I just don't see how that happens. My audio sucks. Like, we're really? not at a concert. YouTube lover? Okay, hold on. Let me try to fix the... I'll try to put my microphones on if it's... Matthew! It's always crackling. Matthew, whoop, whoop, baby. <clears throat> Let the sky fall. Yeah, so I'm kind of depressed about that, but... Mm -hmm. Hey, know, Danielle. What can I do about it? You know, like... <sighs> oh yeah, we get to hear you clearer now. Yeah, I took a picture of the snow to show him. Don't misquote, you were so boring. Oh, side pot, I mean blue pot. You are very boring and you still are. The fur goes on top of the mic up home when you go out in the in where there's wind. Anyway, I'm parked somewhere, but uh 
I hope no one comes out, an employee or something, and is like, ma'am, you can't park in our employee micro in our employee parking lot. Micro? Then I'll have to move. Or I'll say, okay, hire me then. <laughs> Let me do a day's work for you. I wish it worked that way. They'd have to fill out a lot of paperwork just for you to work one day. Mm-hmm. Put the furry muff on. Wait, so put the furry muff on. Um, Kiki said, what do your glasses look like if they scoot just a tiny bit down? We want to see them gorge brown brows, girl. Um, gorge brows? Is the audio better or what? No. Might be the internet if there's a storm. Which, what? by the way, why are you out in it? I saw on Twitter that, um, was it Ontario, Canada? There was like a weather warning and they told everybody to stay home and foodies like out and about. Is it really bad? Yes. Why is it crackling? I don't know. My internet might suck. It's terrible. I think your phone hates you too. Oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I wish I had my own place right now. Maybe I just won't go live until I get my own place because, like, I I don't know the quality, the internet, everything sucks. I think the sound just left. Oh, like, you passed. can't hear me at all. No, we can't Hi, hear Jack. you. Hello, the cat. I don't want to restart the stream. I think it'll be the same. I don't know. Yeah, I've tried ice cappuccino. Let's see. It's someone for you. Someone asked, "Have you found a place?" Hmm. Weird, Bailey. Yeah, I think I found a place, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Oh. About everything. With Pete's? Okay, SYL. Golden Girl, can you hear me okay? I believe you. I'm <laughs> kidding. Hi, Fernanda. And I believe you guys too. I'm just kidding. Where did I miss here? You can hear me fine? I don't know, foods. Across the world. So I was planning on living a life of like travel and everything. I already went over why I couldn't bring them. Same the reason I can't bring Julia. Part of the reason. Hi, Mike. Do you Hi. think you should stop getting pets until you can like get healthy and decide where you're gonna live? Shuffle of fingers. But to be honest, please don't ever get pets again. Um. Hey, Paul Freed. Someone said, Chantal, scoot your glasses down, please. Your eyebrows are being covered, and they're so good. Okay. I can't scoot my glasses down. Ow. There's a bone here, you know. <laughs> it's not the bone. It's you have a fat forehead now. So anyways, um, yeah, but Julia, I'm still going to get her. I'm going to be able to see her again. You know, I know that. And How? Uh, Sam, I'll have Sam as well. So. How are you going to see Julia? Jim and Luna. Welcome to your permission, please. <laughs> Do you think Salah's really going to keep Julia when he's, like, busy with the Red Room and all of his different women? Do you think he's really going to care for Julia, or do you think he's going to dump her out on the street, and she's not even spayed? When people have to move, it's not an easy decision what to do with your pets, you know? That's why you don't get animals when you're busy doing visa hops and, like, border runs and everything else. Well, you know what I mean? I think I switched those up, but you know what I mean? You just don't. I stayed home like near the end a lot. I stayed home a lot in Kuwait, but to be fair, we I also did a lot of content on the couples channel where we did things, but that hasn't been in a while. That's too bad. Hi, C Roller. Hopefully I can get my, you know. Yeah, I know the sound is not really that good. Sorry guys. Christina, hello. So I know I can't wait to see Sam either. You know, and have a place to like do content and stuff. Someone like that. asked her, should we unsub to the couples channel? But today is like really bad snowstorm, so yeah. Someone asked her, um, you know, I thought you were gonna put the cat down. I don't even watch your videos, and I know that. If you really want to unsub, yeah, sure, it's up to you. I want to see Sam <laughs> Um, no, I didn't see that desert rose. Blue Pot said someone in Alex Ashuk's chat said that last week they saw you in public with Salah and you kept taking breaks and he stayed a couple of feet behind you in public. I wonder if she'll address that. Someone in Alex Ashuk's chat said last week they saw you in public with Salah and you kept taking breaks. 
and he stayed a couple of feet behind you in public. Um, okay, I don't know. So I mean, true. he walks fast sometimes. And for me, yeah, I take breaks. Depends where we go and what how I'm feeling, but yeah. Mm-hmm. How is that like a secret? How is that tea? It's not. Like, is that when you get entertained by Blue Pot? Oh, you, you have to take breaks when you're walking. So what? It's no secret that I'm fat and I have health issues. True. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe from the snow. <laughs> Someone asked her, do you feel like Salah gets embarrassed? Sorry. No. E. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is that better? I have to put it in rice? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know, but why all of a sudden do you look unfiltered? Like, we just saw you in a travel vlog. The filters were turned up, especially the blur part. Um, but now we see what you really look like. Do you have two different phones? <laughs> Maybe it's the person that I saw at the mall with their mother. Maybe. I don't know. There was, like, a girl who came up to me. Remember I said in my thing? Mm-hmm. But I was walking when I saw her, so that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't know. Did you take a break really, two seconds after? What a dumb thing to say. <laughs> I know. Yeah, snow angel bees, no. Well, it sounds like water damage. Shit. What if I damaged my phone? Then I'm screwed for life. <laughs> I don't know. You could get a new one. You guys are annoying me right now. I don't know what to do about it. Didn't your mom and dad fix your car for you? Just tell them you need a new phone, too. You're stressing me out. Oh. Where's the speaker, anyways? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna mute. Please do. Okay. Let's go forward. Uh, I mean, I blew into it like it's an old Nintendo, and that's the only thing I can do. <sighs> you know, these people don't have the nerve to walk up to you. Yeah, well, somebody did. Kuwait, <laughs> a young girl. I don't know. But, like, why do people need to walk up to her? They made it sound like a bad thing. You know, these people don't have the nerve. You truly don't have to walk up to her. <laughs> you don't have to. With her mother. Hey, mistress, I was cleaning off my car of like a million freaking inches of snow. And then I came in and shook all the snow off of myself. And some of it probably got on the phone. Mm. Hey, kicking it. All right, let's go for it a little bit. Okay, good. Rosemary! Hi, Beezer. Beaver Beezer. It's weird to have people recognize me in public. Yeah, it is actually. I mean, it's like not weird, weird, but I don't mind. I mean, if people are nice, whatever. Blue Pot said, Chantal, please tell people I've been here years and I'm just beezing. It's all good fun. People are always nice to your face. It's what they do behind your back. Hi, Gemma. Yeah, Blue Pot's just a veteran troll. Yeah, the Nintendo blow. Put your phone in chicken match boots. <laughs> there you go. It's not that bad. I can hear you. Thank you. So this is a double-double. No, Blue Pot said, can we go to America for American fast food now? No, you cannot. Stay in Canada, foodie and Blue Pot. <laughs> Stay there. And uh, I feel so white trash right now. <laughs> I'm just joking. Wow. I'm kidding. You guys have to take a joke. You just got a Tim's head? No way. <laughs> Aren't jokes supposed to be funny, though? <laughs> Thank you, Tim Hortons. She thinks she's so cute. Ew. Yeah, two cream, two sugar, not two milk. Ugh. Has to be cream and coffee. Capone's in the chat. It said, I'm waiting for the return of Lambo and Sofa King. So today, I ate way too much yesterday. So today, I'm going to try to just eat nor- like a normal human, okay? So I want to write something. I know what you could write. Oh, my God, my God. Right in the window so everybody knows. My fake husband likes to shit on people. There you go. Write that out, okay? Or say honk if you love people who shit on you. I don't know. You um, have options. You'd make me tall, so that'd be nice. Yeah, I'm freaking short. Or if you're looking for a date, you could say honk if you'd like to shit on me. Not right now, Bailey. I don't get recognized. Maybe. I don't know. So I ate way too much. Oh, my gosh. I don't even want to talk about it. I had those three meat patties, right? Chicken patties. Then I had Harvey's. Um, again, with the deep fried pickles this time. Oh my gosh. With, <laughs> with ranch poured all over them. Then I had spaghetti and meatballs, like later. So, all this to say, today I'm going to try to eat normal. 
I was just going to ask, I thought you came back to Canada for your health and you've done nothing but eat and hang out by the outhouse. You know, like structured and more normal. But right now, I'm just having liquids right now. Um, uh-huh. Yeah. I see someone in her chat leaving a comment and... um. You know, I'm going to read it. Nikki said, do you have any comments on purple glitter being accused of being EG in your chat a while ago? PG is having severe mental breakdowns on YouTube lately, but I don't think she was EG. I don't think she was either. And just because somebody who has a lot of um, subscribers says it, it doesn't always mean it's true. And I'm, this is what I'm going to say. Like, how do we feel about PG? I think everybody needs to leave her alone right now. Leave her like alone. I don't think she's one of those people who can take much more of this internet BS. Um, so I wish people would just stop with that. Like I full on worry for PG. I do. Deep fried pickles. Oh, you like them? They're so good. <laughs> one side of your face looks very swollen. Um, yeah, I have left side swollen face disorder. It's a new day, just don't eat as much. Yeah. So EG used to be in Foodie's chat all the time. And it was one of those trolls who got away. Like, they got away with saying much more than other people did. Whereas people were getting blocked left and right. EG could kind of get away with um, a lot. PG also used to be in Foodie Beauty's chat. Um, but now she has her own channel. She's kind of floating around. But um, I don't know. I, it's just, it's all bad right now. It's all bad. And I worry for PG. I do. Oh. Fried pickles are the devil's loins. Yeah. See, it's I always have boogers now because I'm in Canada and the air's dry. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I'm going back to Kuwait. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh oh. I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here now because you were kicked out. I don't want to travel. I literally don't know if I could ever make that trip for a long time. A few months. Mm -hmm. and also because i just i can't keep changing my mind like oh my gosh like what kind of freaking manic honestly i've done this traveling so many times i've changed my mind so many times last time i came down here i was supposed to do exactly what i'm doing now but no desert rose said why do i not notice any difference in her face am i blind you just might be if you don't notice any difference in her face and now I have a pain in my heart because I miss my husband. I feel really alone. Even if I have people around me, I'm going to feel alone because I'm alone for a certain type of like attention and love. And I miss Julia's bad breath. <sighs> she doesn't miss yours. That I could promise you. Hey, Fredos, welcome to them. Someone asked her, can't he come see you? I don't know, Flowers. You miss Julia, me too. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Look after my health, yeah. You need to. You won't, but you need to. Someone asked, have you been following now? You can be at all hours. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> you can follow me now. Know what's going on. Constellation, I need the tea. Someone told her she looks pretty. Yeah, her teeth are fine. I mean, you know, cat breath smells like fish or something, like what they eat. He likes chaos. Lavender coffee. Oh, yeah, ask them if they can make it low calorie. John Cena in the chat said, now is the worst. Foodie Beauty is a queen. Lavender and coffee, I wonder. Lavender lemonade is good. <clears throat> Someone said, now takes four-hour baths with the water running. You can FaceTime so long. Yeah, it's not the same. Now, I also miss like the the call to prayer. Like it feels different here. It takes me getting used to it again. I thought you had an app on your phone that reminded you about the calls to prayer. What happened to that? Did you delete it as soon as you left Kuwait? Did someone come with a megaphone in front of my window and do the call to prayer? <laughs> you can get yourself sorted and go back with a new outlook. Yeah, we'll see. I guess, Aileen. Hi, Ned girl. Capone tells her, "I don't know how to say this. I mean, no offense." But compared to now, Chantel, you're extremely normal. I don't know if I'd go that far. 
My cat's breath smells like cat food. I know. I look like Amy Ramadan. Yeah, well. You do. We did dress similar. Yes, I know. And I always used to think, like, because I wasn't hijabi then, I always used to go, why is she always fussing with her hijab? And now I know, because when you have a fat face, this thing just like, okay, let's just let it go. Who cares? Oh, it's no. annoying, though. Look at my chin. See how it shaped your face? <laughs> All I know is you look like you're going to go scuba diving. I look like Modine. <sighs> you look like hey, scuba Modine. booty. <laughs> Your wisdom take your mouth. Mandy! <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, Mandy, thank you so much for gifting a Breezy Bunch membership. And Wookie Lover got it. Congratulations, Wookie Lover. Welcome to the Breezy Bunch. Thank you so much, Mandy. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Thomas the tank and shaped like a scream mask, yeah. Kind of. His birth smells like Did you get Timmy's for all of us? Anna Nicole sharing is caring. Thank you, Anna. Yeah, I would get you guys coffee. It's a fraction of the Anna Nicole's in the chat. The price of freaking Starbucks. Hey Jenny, you missed Talibat. Yeah. Don't make me miss Kuwait because I'll go back. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, no offense, but if you go there and eat yourself to death, it doesn't affect like any of us. It only affects you. I'm supposed to go and put a deposit on a on a place. Oh. Today. Uh so once I do that, it's final. I mean, you can get it back, but my mind changes every hour. <laughs> Let yourself adjust. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. You think it'll be okay here? Someone told her, can you not do that when your audio is very bad? <sighs> All right, let's go for it a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I have a, a good, I mean, good uh, record of rental anyways. You do? I don't know. I mean, not perfect, but. How do you have a perfect record of rental when you can't rent your own place because you filed bankruptcy? No, CM. Like, there's no record of you renting, right? Because Pete's rented the last place for you. Was the last place in Salah's name? Trapped in the house, sweating and feeling depressed. Go do it. Could go do it right now. <laughs> Matthew, congratulations and welcome to the world. Wow. <laughs> I don't want to say um your relative's name, but like you know what I mean. I don't want to out it, but that's so cool. Congratulations to you and your family. That's so exciting. So, you mean go put a deposit? Bedrock bees coming. <laughs> this is a new sweater, by the way. Um, it's just like a black sweater gotta have one of those and somehow magically you already made it look dirty i don't know how i cleaned off my car today really i don't sorry i gotta blow my schnoz i'm mm -hmm. gonna clean my car how come you gotta blow your nose a lot since you've been back in canada hanging out in front of the outhouse i know when i used to put certain things up my nose i was awfully stuffy too yes i was it's just one of them days oh look what i have pink sugar don't drink it. Yes, it smells really good. <laughs> so what's up, guys? You'll be my roommates. Rachel, I appreciate that, but there's only certain people I can live with in life. Uh-huh. Obviously, my husband. And even then. No, I'm just joking. What I'm kidding, she... babe. What if she moved in with pissy poo? 65. Wow. My pink puffy coat. Oh, gosh. Okay. Any privacy? What? A huge... 24 hour, no, I don't know how many hours. 24 hour party bees or something, or 12 hours maybe, maybe six hours. <laughs> okay. Exactly. I'm going to deposit. And if I just somehow something happens, I'll just uh, cancel it, I guess. I'll get it back. It's refundable. Hold on. What? <sighs> hey, this... Hi, hi, Carrie. Did she just mute us to fart? And Minnie. You, I need some fresh air. It's nice. Oh. She did. You are disgusting. Look at the snow. You can't even see because it's white. It's snow. Hi, Suanne. Dude. Rainy pool. <laughs> oh my gosh. She, you're gross. Why you're do you gross. get a bird? It gets cold before you're even done. Okay, here's the thing. Okay. 
Wait, what was I going to say? Imagine, like, whatever you feel about your life right now, just trust me, you're doing amazing. Imagine being a 40-year-old who eats and farts on camera, gets dumped, gets cheated on. <laughs> your life is really good. I promise you if you're listening right now. Oh, my God. She's gross. She's um, gross. Carly Steele's in the chat. <laughs> Carly still asked, why is there snow? Because Foodie Beauty loves to hang out wherever there's snow. Hello. <laughs> what are you talking about, hot tea? You can keep, I know. <laughs> oh, goodwill. I don't know. That's true. Snow is beautiful until you have to live in it. Right? Hey, Sandra. Thanks, space. Big toe, it's because she's high. There's not going to be any chaos in my life. Okay, we're just going to be I'm tired of chaos. What kind of chaos? <laughs> I'm married, so there's no dating chaos. And even if I ever got divorced for some reason, there's no way I'm touching another male in my entire life from now Booty, on. No, every time, nope. every time you say that, every time you say that, you're just confirming you guys are over. If you are so happily married and so in love, why are you even considering the option of you two not being together? Gross. When I think of all the creatures i let just like touch me ew 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 i have ick ew i have ick <laughs> let's make a song but for real for real <laughs> yeah i can't enjoy kuwait in the summer that's for sure yeah you're right i would go home and like Hang on to Salah's leg for a whole 48 hours. Julia and the other, and then Harry in my mouth. <laughs> and then after that, I'd be like, okay, what now? <laughs> oh, it's boiling. Forget about it. <sighs> yeah, so exactly, yeah. You kind of feel isolated as a revert too, yeah. But, yeah, you're right. Um, people are very... Uh-huh. Um, how do I say it? Never mind. I don't know how to say it, so I'm not going to say it. Just say it. She oh, is okay. high. Outshine, she is high. Very, very, very high. And we're not high enough for this. <laughs> More weather yeah, you're right, exactly. If you're skinny, normally you're cold all the time. But not necessarily. I, I know some people, I used to work with a girl, she was bigger than me until she got surgery. And at the time, she was bigger than me. She might have been about my size now. And she was always freezing in the office. It was so annoying because she was all she would complain about. Every day. Talking she about does want to she's called. Team. Thank you, Iona. So much to do in Canada. Yeah. So much to do, yet all we see you do is eat in the car. <laughs> but, um... So the microphone made it worse, eh? The noise? Because I could put it on. And, uh, yeah. So, the coffee makes my teeth yellow. Beatrix, I don't think he pooped on her. Remember, they're fake married, but he wants to live out his fantasies, dreams, fetishes with other people. Anybody other than foodie. Um. So, yeah, I. Uh, a lot of you are probably wondering or going to mention. I already mentioned this, but I'm not fasting because. Um, yeah, I already said because my medications and hi, Sue's mirror. Vanessa. <clears throat> so then you were never really fasting in Kuwait, right? So and. I, like the no water would be very dangerous. <laughs> so then how did you manage in Kuwait when you were fasting? Whitener. Yeah, I know. But then I drink coffee, it gets all brown. <laughs> um, I don't have any plans to hot tea, that's for sure. Your teeth are not brown just because of coffee. You know that, right? Like even if you smoke or you drink coffee or tea whatever else there's these little things called like teeth whitening pens and there's even this thing at cvs foodie because i know you're broken right now it's on sale there's five minute whitening at cvs and you can afford it i think it's like eight bucks right now you could do something about your disgusting teeth but most importantly you should brush them if you brush and floss your teeth won't have fuzz on them it's a great feeling to not have fuzzy teeth trust me it's amazing Yeah. Here's the fish. Where's your fishy fish? Widowed. I feel that for my hubby. I'm sorry for your loss, widowed. To be honest. You turned down 50 guys at least. I just can't feel anything but yuck. Yeah. You had to prove it was Like, I don't want to deal with any of those emotions. I know what you mean, and I'm really sorry for your loss. Yeah. 
true well, long there, I kept it more secret what I was doing like just kind of like I did try to at first but then yeah after I got not feeling too well I started eating again and drinking but I don't announce it over there Islamic country you know so I have to get paneer soon <laughs> yeah I have a lot to do on my list but first I just need patience we'll get back to regular beezing because I need to like get situated there's an employee Somebody come near me <laughs> and then um I have to get situated and do everything like get set up again like I feel like I'm starting from school. oh my gosh Pizdet said she's still squinting with her with her glasses. Are those fakes? Supposedly they're prescription, but Salah picked them up and Salah handled everything. Do you think he took her money and she give, gave him a certain amount for prescription glasses, prescription, and like he just went to the Walmart and got like the $10 ones? Raj? <sighs> like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I don't know. I guess I'll just rebuild a little bit by little bit. Like, I should have kept a lot of things I had, but I didn't think I was ever coming back. I should know myself. Like, you have to buy everything again, like, from spatulas mm -hmm. and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know why my audio is not good. Because your phone hates you, too. I think I got it wet. Did Wa did poop on it? Does he have a thing with pooping on phones now? I changed seats. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, on the first flight, the... The Lufthansa flight. Hi, Dirty. <clears throat> a new blue pot. Yeah. <sighs> Cheapest place. Yeah. I think he did, Danielle. I think he went to Walgreens or CVS or the Walmart and he got some cheapo glasses. I think that's what he did. Oh. Carly Steele. Go to Value Village for kitchen things. Really? I got you. How are you doing? I miss you. <laughs> Hope you're well. I have to catch up. I've been so self-absorbed. Lufthansa. What Lufthansa. Are you not? So I went, I had a, my seat, right? Okay. I had a window seat assigned for me. Then I, um, yeah, I know that she's pregnant, Krista. Congratulations. Oh Carly. my gosh. Carly scared me because she, well, she said go to Value Village for kitchen things. There's so many. I swore when I read it, she said go to Valley Village. And I'm like, Carly, why would you send Foodie out to me? Why would you send her out this way? And Josh, you're going to have a little beezer. Um, <laughs> I don't have a wish list, Christina, but I can make one. You know what I want? I want one of those like lights. Like I want to make my room like the bees palace. Oh, the <laughs> I want one of those like palace. galaxy lights that you put all over your room and it's like stars and everything. <gasps> Maybe I could do sleep streams with the CPAP. Ask okay, Bali where she gets hers. You just need to message her. Actually, she's already said she emails with you. Ask her where she got hers, foodie. And then you too can grind on a kitchen chair while doing hand puppets with your lights going. That would be amazing. It's in. I went on the plane and then um, got in my seat and I was looking down the aisle like this. I didn't even notice probably, but I was like, you know, goosenecking the aisle to see if people are still boarding. And I'm like, please don't board. Hi, Vera. Anyway, that's a good idea, Cynthia. And then, so I get in my, my seat and so far there's no one sitting beside me. And I'm like, yes, you know. And um, Matthew, the only collab I would do with Foodie is if somebody put on like a YouTube boxing match well there's or those already exist but <laughs> a girl world one with her and then i got to like punch her or wrestle her well actually i wouldn't wrestle her because i would die she could just fall on me and that would be the end of me but like if it was something like that where i could really stick one to her i don't know that's the only collab we'd get or she'd have to spend a day in my shoes like running errands, being a mom, taking care of a household while also running a channel, being a daughter, a sister, <laughs> um, an auntie. She'd have to like do a whole day of running errands. That's the only way we'd collab. I thought I heard the the, the pilot, the captain, whatever you call him, say no more passengers on board. So I thought, yes. Then last minute, like last, last person to board. Of course, the last person comes up to me and he looks at me and he's like, and I look at it's not his fault, but I glared at him, this little, little tiny guy. And he's like, may I sit here? And I was like. <laughs> or we could do some kind of like, I wouldn't actually do this, but this is where my mind goes. If we did a wrestling boxing match collab, we could do like mud wrestling or some kind of jello wrestling. So that way, like when she comes for me, I could just kind of like slip and slide through her legs and come out the other side. And then she'd like miss and she'd fall. And then that would be the end of it. Like I would win. So I was like, yeah, okay. So I had to, I switched seats because I, I went and looked for another two empty seats. Hi, GH. There were, there were two seats. Like the seat configuration was two, four, two. So there was like window aisle. Okay. I went up the aisle. I'm like, okay. I grabbed all my things. I said, I'm going to go look for an empty seat first. So I found a row of two that were empty. 
we take off, we're in the air at like 30,000 feet, and this random woman, like I swear she was just there, just poof, by God, to just test me on this, because out of nowhere, she comes up to me, and she's like, um, she's looking at the seat number, this is my seat, and I'm like, where did you come from, like, how did you just board the plane, we're in the air, I don't know what happened, like, was she trying to sneak into like a first class seat, and they caught her, and now she has to come back to the economy? You know, so I was like so irritated. So I was like, not everybody's like you where you can see them coming from two miles away. And it's, I know it's not their fault, you know. So I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. So embarrassing. Everyone's looking at me. I grab all my things. Mm-hmm. Except my seatbelt extender. I forgot it. Go back to the seat where the little guy is sitting. And he's in the window seat now. My seat. So I, you know what? Just give him the seat. Catherine, that's how I'd win too if we did a jello match. She'd just sit there eating all of it and I'd win. I'd win by default. <laughs> So when you have uh, to break a sweat, I, I, I said, hi, sorry. Can I sit here? <laughs> so, um, yeah, he just, uh, slept pretty much the whole time like this on the tray table. Like, I don't know how, how you skinny people do that, but, um, so I had to sit in the aisle seat. So that's why I had the two seats. Oh, that was so frustrating. <laughs> that's why, immig- no, that was another flight when immigration came on. I don't Ever- know, foodie, you take up a whole plane. I wouldn't complain about anybody else. I want to sit down. And I felt like, like if you, if I could telepathically tell the steward, that like yo the flight attendant like i'm clenching hard here i need to get off the plane why do i have to stay on the plane while these people get reprimanded or investigated can you guys hear me unfortunately i feel like my audio is crap your life is crap it's not much i almost did me i almost did okay i'm gonna use the mic again see if it's it's better okay i don't think it will be be... i think i got water inside my microphone and i have to put it in rice You're just looking for any excuse to bust out the rice, okay? <laughs> just make your all rice. Right. Testing, testing. Read all about it. A little cracky. Hmm. Toasty, exactly. It's frustrating you can't have two seats when you paid for one. It's the snow. See what you did? Canadian weather? Well, you were <laughs> supposed to stay inside and off the road, so there's that. Hey, Drift. <laughs> Girl doodle. Okay, oh my gosh, girl doodle. I'm so happy to see you. She's wait, she's hitting her money shit stories over and over to make bank. Yeah, she is. She has nothing else to talk about. Rice. Let's go buy a bag of rice. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I believe you. Jumping in the line. Rock your body on time. <laughs> I cannot wait to go see Beetlejuice number two. Uh, it will work. The rice thing does work. Okay. You know what? Maybe I should just get off for now and let it dry out. Beetlejuice. Get, go get off and let it dry out. Yep. Shake, shake, <laughs> shake, senora. I can't wait. <laughs> Salut, Marcia. Comment ça va? Ça va bien? What was that? It's cracking like you're peeking. What? It's cracking like your bones. Hi, Mercy Me. Stay on with us. I haven't made a list yet, Sarah. We should make, I need everything. The only thing I'm going to have at first is a bed. And a seven-piece comforter set. I have a 10-foot charger, and I'm just going to bed rot. You know what, Sunshine? You're right. When she was with Natter, she did like she acted like an adult for the most part. Well, I mean, except for her decisions and everything else. You know what I mean? But she tried to act like a woman for Natter. I noticed with Salah, she's like reverted back to like this childhood her. And she thinks it's cute to talk in a baby voice and act like a literal toddler. And it's odd. At night time, you know. Oh, I need a kitchen chair. So I can wheel around and cook. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. These are plays. The reason why I like to sit, too, is to talk to you guys, like, you know, at the same level. Because my stand doesn't go that high. It'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, Penny. Thanks, SYL! Sofa, blue pot. I don't really need a sofa. I don't like to just chill in the living room, you know. I don't want to have any company, so. But I thought you just chilled in the living room in Kuwait. Remember? You got all upset we were evaluating the pillows, so you made sure to move them and let us know that you sat out there all the time. Just be fatigue. Ah, uh, Disney. Mousy. Sofa blue pot. Blue pot. <laughs> Those are like freaking sixty dollars. Dishes, glasses. Dishes you can go to Dollar Tree. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Well, Catherine. Yeah, it's manipulative. Yeah, it's it is. No, I don't have a place yet. It's not like her. Yeah, I use, I use. It's not like her voice is naturally younger sounding. Some people just have naturally younger sounding voices. Like I will probably be ninety and still sound like this. 
My mom has the same voice as me, like whatever. Some people have a younger voice. But when you're trying to sound like a literal baby and we know how you act and talk, it's weird. It's weird. I used to use a computer chair too, teardrop. I don't have any company at all. Like none. It's just a beast pad. That's it. No. Dish sponge. Oh, even those. See? You have to think of everything. Like in Kuwait, I have all that already. Huge love sacks. What is that? Oh, like for furniture? Can you take us to Farm Boy Bees? <laughs> Yeah, Farm Boy, I miss it. Hi, Mercy Me. Have you gone to Adonis recently? I don't have halal at Farm Boy. Go pay the deposit, <laughs> Lisa. Yeah, yeah. I got to go a bit later. It's like a giant beanbag. Oh. And they're so comfortable to lounge on and sit on. Like, I need to get me some beanbags. I had them as a child, and I just remember how fun they were to sit on. I need, like, a giant one for my living room so I could just, like, lounge. I don't know. Would, that, would I break it? You'd break anything. We hated him for it. I don't know how that car's holding together. Pennington's bees. No, I know, Brenda. What do you mean, agent? The beanbag in a hurry. Matthew, you no. Know. <laughs> no, it's just the females. Like, me, my mom, and my sister, we all sound the same. So if somebody calls their phone and I pick it up, Oftentimes the person will think it's my mom or my sister and they just talk away. And sometimes I finding out I find out tea I didn't even want to know. Um, but yeah, we all sound the same. It's wild. I didn't even say that. I watched the video. A beanbag in a hurry. Did they say that? I didn't hear that. A love sack. Love sack, baby. No, don't talk about love and sacks. It makes me sad. <laughs> I want to go back to Kuwait. So sh don't talk about love and sacks. It makes me sad. I and I saw what Salah's working with. There's no sack to miss, foodie. There's no sack. <laughs> Any. And I find it odd he's neutered and yet your cat isn't spayed. Brought to like TV shows in there? Maybe. Get a waterbed. I'm cracking you up, Deirdre. Okay, I'll make an Amazon wish list and no one will buy anything for me. So I don't like asking people for things anyways. I guess I can make one and... I'll just keep it there. Whoever wants to get something can. And if not, I'll just get it like whenever I can, you know, <laughs> like things I'm actually going to want. But it's more like things I need. Like I have to get everything. It sucks. Like a TV wall, a friggin' TV unit. Like I don't like thinking about, I don't care about that stuff. Honestly, I laid in bed on my phone. Like what more do I need? A bed, phone, kitchen crap, you know? She couldn't get off a bean bag. <laughs> oh, thanks. Hopeless. <laughs> Am I hopeless? It's fine. Wait. Okay. You're beyond hopeless. Is that better? No. Audio issues suck, though. I can't remember. Wish list too. Teardrop. I wish I could buy everything on there for you. They're like having foodie beauty again. Not really, but. Why does Teardrop a mod have a wish list on Amazon? Why am I in Canada? I don't even know how to answer that anymore. People it took me like an hour of live stream to explain it. Bali, go watch my live stream when I first got here. It's so gross to me that those two talk. The trafficker talking to the grape apologist. Okay, sorry about the audio. I'm going to put it in rice. Does barley work or has to be rice? I don't know. Just stop eating for, like, just stop ordering out for a bit and just get yourself a new phone, right? Simple? <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good. No, to I me haven't, Mimi. What's the tea? Is there anything? Like, what's the big deal? People keep asking me that, but I haven't, like, I haven't had time to catch up with any drama. She took your place. That's what happened. Okay, good teardrop. I, I, thank you. Get dollar store rice. No need for premium. Heck yeah. <laughs> Dollarama. There's a lot of Dollaramas here. Okay, now I'm starting to freeze. I should go. Hey, Crafty Gypsy. You know what I'm craving for lunch? What? A really good quality pastrami sandwich with yellow mustard, buttered, slightly toasted rye bread, half of a kosher dill pickle. Yeah. Kim Richard, welcome home. Good for you, honey. Oh, thank you, Kim Richard. You didn't have to. Yeah, carbs. Thank you. And thanks for the warm welcome. <laughs> Lauren, she will never stop whining. I wish she would too, though. <laughs> Toilet paper. No, no, no. I have a bidet. I'm going to ask the people if they can install it. I, th I think I know how. So I'll show it. It's very easy. We had an extra hose one, which is the better one. I still can't get over the man who's like in love with shit bought his fake wife a bidet. 
Gone bread. I can't no, get past that. that. No, no, see what? Who is that? Your fries, yum! Oh my god! Oh my god! If I have to hear that song, Karma, one more time, Karma's a bitch. I should have known better. Sorry if it's stuck in your head now. Go to Sonic. Yeah, we have to cross the border. And there's Owen still Beezer. I think so. Yeah. True, Cassies. Hey, mistress. I'm enjoying it. I'm, you know, it was good. It was not bad. Have you guys heard JoJo's new song? So, unfortunately, at one point in my daughter's life, she used to wear the JoJo bows. It was really cute. I'm saying, unfortunately, for what I have to deal with now. So, it was really cute. She liked JoJo, and then eventually she got older and, like, whatever. Like, how all the kids do. Like, JoJo's not cool anymore. Well, she still shows up on, like, my Facebook all the time. JoJo. Everywhere I go. So, she has this new song named Karma. And she's totally like rebranding and she's no longer considered like a child star because her contract is up with uh, Nickelodeon. Anyway, so she's trying to come out and like do a, a Miley thing. Remember how like one day Miley was all like sweet and innocent and then the next day she was twirling on a pole to party in the USA. And then after that, she was getting off in concerts all around the world <laughs> on top of cars and everything else. Anyway, so that's what JoJo's doing now. And she's been teasing this song Karma like nonstop for, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks now. Anyways, if you unfortunately hear it, it will be stuck in your head forever and it will never go away. So try to avoid JoJo if you can. It was morning, so it's fresh. But it's usually always fresh. But I, 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 I'm off and on, you know, missing Salah and my pets and everything. I was just used to the life there, the routine, the comfort, like, you know, and it's going to take some getting used to. But I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling okay. You know. Hey, Turbo Dupes. No Chick fil A sauce? <laughs> Chick fil A. Well, and what is the dragon thing that hangs from her chin now? Like, it looks really weird. Plan a trip to Florida? <laughs> There's a lot of snow right now, hot tea. Really, mistress? Ground beef is good with spaghetti sauce. Yeah, um, it is snowy here, yeah. Very snowy. We just got a huge snowfall. I want to see the eclipse. Yeah, I was thinking about that, agent. I'm not going to look at it, but I don't want to go blind. Every time I look at you, I go blind. Peace like that song. <laughs> I don't like that. That's I don't... literally how I feel when I watch you, foodie. Every time I look at you, I go blind. I don't really love 5440. Okay. That's another brown music. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so I better go because the morning coffee does my stomach in. Great. Stay... Yeah, I'm trying to stay focused on myself. Yeah, that's what I got to do, you know. If you know my king. Yeah. Because it's going to be very visible from where I am. Yeah. Plain Jane burgers and pizza. I don't know, Gemma. Probably not wheelchairs, but... Okay, guys. I'm going to go for now. This is just a short one. Okay. More walks, but not in this crop. Hell no. My sketchers are frozen. Your sketchers are frozen? Oh, God. Night of the Comet. Yes. Teardrop. We can do Eclipse Live. Yay. It is snowing. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, foodie. All right. Let's go to Twitter really fast, you guys. Let me stop sharing the screen. I haven't shared anything within the past hour. So if there's anything new, we'll cover it tonight. We'll do like a Twitter recap. Uh, hold on one second. I got to pull up my Twitter. She'll be back. Yeah. She needs to shut the F up about. I hate when she calls it that. Exactly. Why does she refer to things as brown music? So Danielle said she needs to shut the F up about brown music because she just said it again. She's disgusting. Trauma, I'm in Vegas. Same here. Take her back. Yay, the land whale is off screen. I know that was kind of brutal. I had high hopes, you know, the first live stream she did when we saw her back in Canada. But um, once again, she's let me down. <laughs> she's let me down. <laughs> All right, let's see. How lucky you are, Trauma. Love me the hot days. Those shoes must stink so bad. Could you imagine taking her shoes off at the airport? No, I think everybody passed out when she took them off. <laughs> that is my opinion. <laughs> all right, can you guys see all right? Let me go back to string yards for a second. Yeah. All right, so Gossip Girl said, I think Chantel only puts on her hijab for the camera. In her last few, vi few videos, it's not even secure around her face. Probably. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait to see if FFG sees her around or somebody else. <laughs> And see if she actually wears it around. I think she probably just puts it on for her live streams now. She's not even needing halal anymore. Um, 
Satan Yacht said so many in the entertainment sell their soul or turn dark. It's scary what happens to the child stars. But it's because, like, before I used to wonder, I'm like, why does everybody turn out? Like, it seems like all the child stars turn out with, like, these sad, traumatic stories and lives, like drugs, alcohol, deaths. Um, but we didn't realize at the time what they were going through. It's so sad to even sit and think about, like, you know, looking back on watching TV, you know, these kids were making us laugh on Friday nights. Like, they were a huge part of our weekends. And coming on camera, acting like the world was fine and everything's great. And meanwhile, they're suffering tremendously. Suffering. And it goes beyond just, like, Nickelodeon, Disney, whatever else. Like, same with the entertainment industry. I mean, look at all the stuff we're finding out. I don't even want to go into that, but the trending topic right now, and now we're finding out about more, like what happened to Justin Bieber, and it's it's a whole thing. You think she wears it out in public, Jamie? Because the adults abuse them in the industry, yeah, and they can't rely on anybody because oftentimes, you know, these kids at the time, their families want so badly for their children to be on Nickelodeon and to be, you know, famous, and oftentimes they're counting on their children to be the provider for the family, so they don't even have, like, anybody they can count on or rely on. They can't count on their parents to do the right thing and they can't count on the people that they work for to do right by them it's really really sad it is screwed up it is screwed up hollywood is evil parts of it are yeah definitely i mean there's good and bad in everything right just like people there's good and bad in people there's good and bad in hollywood there's um oh sorry my mom just texted me oh that was cute sometimes my mom is so sweet anyways their parents will tell them to endure it yeah Human trafficking is a multi-billion dollar industry. It isn't just Hollywood. Exactly. Exactly. Evil, the name Hollywood, is from the holly tree and witchcraft related. Oh, I didn't know that. It's not worth it, Satan said. It's not. Um, so this is like a dance-off compilation of the two perverts somebody put together. It's Yo Mama and Nader El Shami, El Shami, however you say it. Um I don't know. I think birds of a feather flock together. And these two probably are friends. They probably are. So it's me said, yo mama and Natter. Oh, wait, what is it? Can I play this music? Probably not, but let me mute it and we can see their little dance off. It's wild to me. Yo mama thinks he can dance. He's like made fun of me in detail for dancing, but like he looks like a leprechaun having a seizure. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, that was enough of that for me. Uh, Queen Natter El Scammy said, check mark, foodie beauty comes back to Canada. Meth Gremlin shows up on live stream with huge grocery haul, check. Meth Gremlin breaks his compulsive daily live streaming streak to suddenly go MIA, check. Attention, this is what they're saying. Actually, I won't say that word, but attention something pig, foodie beauty also breaks from streaming and missing in action at the same time, check. I think they've seen each other. I have I think they've seen each other. And then the person said, reminder, she struck everyone but him. Even though her strikes against him would have validity, at least, way more than anyone else she struck. Yeah, that's very telling to me. She comes on crying about how she was so abused, yada, yada, yada. She hates him. She would never go back to him. La, 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 la. Like, we've heard it all, right? We've heard it all. But, like, she doesn't strike him. She, she strikes Goose Chuck and FFG and Gorlick Bread and Kaya and everybody else, but like not Natter. It's wild to me. It's wild to me. Julie said, are you suggesting Chantel and Natter have hooked up again? Can you imagine? I think they have. I think they have. Oh, let's see. All right. Let's read a few more tweets. You know, Natter and Foodie got together. I think so too, Kara. Disney isn't innocent. The man has many demons. It's true. It's true. Oh my God, most definitely he did a major grocery haul and they're both MIA. Come on now, we're not dumb and she's giddy as hell. Come on. She still loves him. She still loves him. And when she was in Kuwait, we talked about all the time how if he called, she would be on the first flight back. They've seen each other. Squeaky Nips said, how to look like a toddler and a grandma at the same time. And here's a screenshot of Foodie. Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's just wild to me. Some of us, you know, I'm sitting over here single and this gets men. This. <laughs> this. <laughs> Can you imagine waking up to that Elvis lip every single morning? Lucky you. 
And if you're hungry, you know, you could just pick a crumb out. She's got you covered. <laughs> Tat Von D or Tat Von B said, I think I got this right. What do you guys think? And it's Foodie Beauty um, and the ring. It's accurate. It's accurate. <laughs> Foodie's twins with a lot of people in this world. Amy Ramadan, The Ring, um, Roz. Who else, you guys? Bondu Pondu said, Salad pulled into the airport like, Peace, bitch. And this is supposedly him. Probably. That one time we saw him drop her off at the airport, that guy had a glow, a sparkle. Like, he was the happiest we've ever seen him. Uh, let's see. Potty Mouth Open said, pet peeve. There's no such thing as a red eye while doing global travel. Fight me. Potty Mouth Open also said, and another thing, Foodie Beauty, every damn time you talk about inconveniencing people on planes, I'm going to post this pic of you. The skinny legend in 2022 pretending to fit in a plane seat on the way to Cuba, you piece of crap. It's not cute or funny. And what's wild is she was considered thinner here. I think she takes up the whole damn row at this point, even the row in front of her, because her stomach is so big. And then she complains about things, <laughs> about the seating. It's ugh. Joel said, foodie beauty before and after filter. Seems like she changed phones from Kuwait to Canada. So yeah, this was her in her travel vlog. Filters turned up. She's nice and blurred. And then this is her back in Canada. Ew. And she literally has food all in her teeth. Well, what few teeth she has left anyways. Look at her skin. And it's not that it's something she can't help. She just refuses to wash her face or shower or do anything to help herself. So again, filtered. Take it all in. Versus reality. Ew, no, thank you. No, thank you. Ian said she keeps changing airlines because they tell her she needs two seats. Probably. She's pretty blotchy. She is. And it's not like I said, like some people have skin issues they can't help, right? Like we've seen her before. Um, like even when she was with BB, even when I first started watching her, like she had nice skin. She did. And then she stopped taking care of herself. She started eating crappy. She stopped like even bathing. Admittedly, like her hygiene sucks. She doesn't believe in showering, bathing, brushing her teeth, any of that. But truly like what you put into your body, it shows in your skin. It shows in with everything. So if you're constantly eating greasy fried food, that's completely crap for you. You're constantly eating nothing but sugar. This is what you look like. This is what you look like. All right, let's keep going. Julie said, Chantel must be itching to stream all day while stuffing her face and getting high. She doesn't have to force herself to clean or act some type of way in front of Salah or with him there to nudge her when she says the wrong thing. She's happy as a pig in shit. So she did change her banner on YouTube in case you guys haven't seen it yet. I actually like this one much better than what she's been doing. Live streams, vlogs, cooking, beezing. Like, it seems like on her channel now, she's not trying as hard to be, like, the perfect Muslim housewife. Like, she's dropping the act, which is nice to see. And then she has a new profile picture. And I'm not sure why we're in a beanie and scarf in it for spring. But um, I understand they're having bad weather. But it's just a weird picture. Like, <laughs> it's not the start of winter. I don't know. It's not Christmas time. It was just a weird picture to choose. In my opinion. In my opinion. Rian said, as Chantel's weight loss coach, I told her that it's okay to treat herself with this cake shake as long as she drinks lemon water afterwards. <laughs> okay, that's really cute, though. I could never eat that, but I mean, I guess if you had a whole table full of people and it's somebody's birthday, like you're with your family or whatever, I guess you can all share that. It's a lot of sweets. Like, I kind of just want that cupcake. That's all I need. Or the Kit Kat. And I'll call it a day and be fine. Judge Judy said, Salah done bought Foodie Beauty the most unflattering glasses ever. He hates her. Imagine your husband gets these for you. I'm getting a divorce. I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> and like I said, I don't even think they're prescription. I think he just went and got readers. That's what I think he did. Uh, Christy said, 
wait, what is this? Malarkey was the original tweeter who said, with the bad storm happening in Southern Ontario right now, we're being told to not go out unless necessary. Multiple accidents and power outages, crews and EMTs working overtime. So huge shocker, Foodie Beauty is once again ignoring provincial, wait, provincial instructions to do whatever she wants. She's an idiot. Ugh, and her hand is bigger than ever. And then Christy said, Foodie Beauty doesn't care about anyone else but herself. If she wrecks, the, she will then call and endanger others to make them go and respond to her accident. Then she'll rage at responders for taking too long. She's just a vile idiot. I think she'll rage at them for taking too long and showing up without a fast food delivery for her. Like, that's truly how I picture it going. In her life, everybody throws food at her whenever she's inconvenienced or they just want her to shut up or anything. So I truly think an emergency would happen and it would probably be her fault because she's out and about. And then EMTs would show up and she's like, but where's my Nashi? Where is she? Like all upset. I full on see like the full on tamper, temper tantrum happening. Is Jason here? Hey, Jason. I laughed so hard last night. My voice sounds cracked today. <laughs> Yeah, that was fun last night. I'm hoping to go live again with you guys late tonight, like maybe 11 p.m. my time. And we can probably do a now recap if you guys want to, and we'll cover more of Twitter. Oh, somehow I stopped sharing this screen. Sorry, I thought you guys could see it this whole time. <laughs> okay, are we back? Can you guys see it now? Did you guys see anything? Or did you, were you just listening to me read? And as a paramedic of 18 years, could you imagine having to extract that bitch from a car? No, thank you. No, thank you. You're here for it. Good. I just want to share my son calls octopus opies and he's at school and I miss him. Yes, he's two and goes to school. It's so good for him. Toasty, that's so cute. He'll be home soon and you can spoil him and love him and you guys can watch like Animal Planet octopuses together. <laughs> Lauren said, oh my gosh, my skin was so bad when I was drinking red and all the time and swollen. Lauren, same. When I was drinking, I was so blotchy and red and swollen and puffy. And certain parts of my face were almost like white and pale and scary, but like my cheeks were fire engine red. I remember my nose too. When people drink super heavily, like their noses change. Um, I don't look like this anymore, but like even my nose, it was so red. It felt swollen. I felt like every pore on my face was showing during that time. The alcohol completely destroys it, but so does fast food and grease and putting just, if you're putting things that aren't meant to be in your body, in your body or overindulging or whatever else, it always comes up on your skin all the time. It just shows. Just me and my thoughts said no excuse for foodie beauty not to do her call to prayer. There is an app she can have on her phone, which will alert her when it's time. She doesn't care about praying. She doesn't. Tat Von B also said, can someone please explain to me what the F is going on with her back? Is that a hunch or what the F is it? I don't understand it really. So isn't it called like a buffalo? Is it a buffalo hump? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm sure people are talking about it in the comments. But in general, like she's so dis disfigured she's got this giant hump and is she trying to wear spanks underneath this like why does it suck all the way in at her back and her arm is massive like anyways let's go find out what's going on with her back jay marie said maybe she's using the kardashian waist trimmer she got for her birthday <laughs> maybe that would explain it because hold on, let's look at this picture again. So you got the hump and then suddenly it's like cinched in. Huh. Maybe that's why like she didn't want to stay out walking long aside from other obvious issues because she felt like she was going to pass out. Um, Joanna said, yes, she has a buffalo hump. That is the medical term. Regina said, besides the buffalo hump on the back of her neck, Slash upper shoulder area, you see the extreme back fat that oozes and squeezes its way out over the top of her bra straps in the back. It's just more of her 90% prettier than YouTube charm. Killjoy said, this is what's called a wide back bitch. <laughs> I have to mute myself. <laughs> that is the term. That is the term. 
She's a wide back bitch. Jason said, Ron Howard should direct this film back fat too. <laughs> Toasty said, I straight thought it was Photoshop. No, that's what she really looks like. Um, okay, let's keep going. Fairy Nymph said, the fat has to go somewhere. So back it is. Uh, the goth said, it's her hairy hump. What is this? She's clearly training for her new job. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what we're looking at, but let's keep going. <laughs> Wonder Mom said, no matter what Foodie Beauty does, her channel is doomed. If she stays in Canada and eats herself to death by being high 24-7. Um, if she goes back to her husband until the next visa run. Both will not bring the money, the views, the interest. Her time has come and gone. And maybe it has. A lot of people are over her. I even see on Twitter people saying that they, it's hard to watch her through the reactors even. I don't know. She needs to step her game up or find something else to do, I think. People truly seem like they're moving on. Like, we're still here covering it, obviously. But um, it's just not as fun as it used to be. There's only so many times we could see her fail a diet, eat, fart, act like a two-year-old. You know what I mean? Like, something has to change or I feel like people are just going to make now the new queen of girl world. Hey, Matt, I wonder if she will try to contact Shannon. I don't know. I don't know. I think Pete's she definitely has. Natter, she definitely has. And I'm pretty damn sure her and Pissy Poo are probably talking. The ham pants are not missed. I don't miss thinking she was naked. <laughs> we used to think she was naked a lot. And then there was these certain panties she used to wear that like blended right in with her skin tone. So when she was wearing like dresses or her pajamas with no pants on, oftentimes we thought we were seeing the fupa. No joke. Hunchback, yeah. <laughs> Sadly, Quasimodo was a kind and sweet soul. Aw. Jason said, imagine uploading content and people say, I can't tell what I'm looking at. Is that her back or a cut? <laughs> I know. All the things that people are talking about with her would certainly make me change my ways. But yet she just keeps eating. She just keeps eating. Nadia said, so Foodie refused to get up early while in Kuwait. But here she is live right now and she's up and awake at 9 a.m. I suspect she's back on the cocaine, they said. Oh, I should have called it cola, but whatever. We're all adults. Um, I more than suspect that. <laughs> I more than suspect. The only weird thing is, like, is her ability to eat so much. That's the only thing that throws me off. But I will say, you know, back in my addiction days, there was truly people who would do certain substances, you know, sniff them, if you know what I mean, and they could still eat. So I guess everybody's different. I know when I did things, like, I wouldn't eat for days. Not the fupa. British peanut. If Chantel was a car, she'd be a Tesla Cybertruck. Too big to fit anywhere, fundamentally flawed, and dangerous to others. I love that. <laughs> hey, Gonzo. Good to see you. She doesn't have to sleep during fast in Canada. True. True. You know what? It's that part right there. She was pretending to be fasting, and, like, I think to get out of it, she would sleep all day. <laughs> But now she doesn't have to keep the act up. So my hump, my hump, my hump, my hump. Okay. Danielle said, foodie is controlled by food. So the snow doesn't stop her. That's true. I used to eat while on snow. Yeah, some people can. I've even seen overweight people on snow and addiction. It happens. I guess everybody's body is different. Maybe she'll get her life together now that she's back in Canada. Maybe this will be her last binge and junk food this week. And then maybe she'll get some weight loss, get on track and change her ways. Trauma queen. That is a beautiful thought. I could tell you're a really good person. <laughs> it's a good thought, but I don't think so. I don't think so. At some point, like, with everything she's been through, like, if she was going to change, I feel like we'd be going there. We'd be taking that journey. I truly think she's one of those people that is fine with living their life or however many days they have left um, indulging. Like, that's how she wants to go. I think she'll Put, keep up the act. I think every few weeks we'll hear about how she's going to get serious and she's going to diet. She's going to take her health seriously. She's going to look into weight loss surgery, but the food addiction is stronger than um, that side of her or the little part that may want change. It's stronger. It's more powerful. And she's not strong enough to say no and fight it. 
Angela said, it's crazy how long this has been going on. I haven't seen foodie content in over a year and just click this. But goddamn, she was a part of my motivation for like seven years. Hey, Angela, good to see you. Danielle said, once I reached my limit, I changed. Foodie keeps going. She's not ready for change. She's not ready. She's not ready. She is the addict that will tell you what you want to hear. You know, things are always going to be better tomorrow or next Tuesday. She's always going to be changing, and yet we don't see any change at all. She just gets worse, worse and worse. Um, Nadia said, shut the F up. We know you won't even try to eat halal because you're a fake Muslim. And here's a clip. I don't know if we already saw it. I don't know if we need to play it again. So to clarify for halal, because you're probably wondering, well, aren't you Muslim? Aren't you going to eat halal? I'm playing it anyway. So. I'm going to try to, or I can, like if I go grocery shopping for meat and stuff. But sometimes, like, I'm not going to worry about it as long as I'm not eating pork. Uh, everything is always, like, half measures with her. Let's draw. Oh, we have some foodie beauty art by Girl Doodle, who is just in here. I love her Twitter. Okay, hopefully it's not something that's going to strike me, but I'll just mute it out if it is. All right, it says, welcome to the corn. Let's bees. I'm in the Kia. Need to let a little bit of my gen out. I saw that St. Hubert's has Nashville chicken tenders. How are you going to forget my Nashville tenders, however? I'm going to go back there. Is that Peanut in the background? And Lisa, thank you so much for being a member for 23 months. I adore you. I'm listening and cleaning. I adore you too. I am so happy you found this channel and it's been an honor getting to know you. And I love you. I love you so much, Lisa. Remember that song? There's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. I know it's dark, but my lights in here suck. Oh this my is gosh. Good. This is good. <laughs> what? Don't oh. forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? You're disgusting. Don't fucking call me. Oh my gosh! Don't call me. I give a shit on your face. No, you don't. You don't love me. Oh my gosh! I literally fucking hate. I hate you. I don't know you. <laughs> oh my mother freaking gosh! <laughs> I'm not expecting that. want to watch it one more time oh my gosh you guys don't get annoyed with me i kind of have to see this again i'm in the kia need to let a little bit of my gen out i saw that st hubert's has nashville chicken tenders how are you gonna forget my nashville tenders however no i'm gonna go back there remember that song there's been heartache and pain. I don't know if I can face it again. I know it's dark, but my lights in here suck. Oh no, there he is. There yeah, he this is. This is not good. This is not good. <laughs> what? Don't forget to clean the bathrooms with your tongue, okay? You're disgusting. Don't fucking call me. Don't fucking call me. I get a shit on your face. Oh no, here it no, goes. You don't. Here it goes. You don't love me. I literally fucking hate, I hate you. I don't know you. <laughs> okay, you guys, so there's this account. If you're wondering who creates this, there's this account that I follow on Twitter. And um, it's Let's Draw Foodie Beauty. Hold on, I'm going to show you some of their work right now. She was just in our chat. So it's Girl Doodle. That's what she goes by um, on YouTube. But she makes foodie beauty art, and it's so cute. Hold on. Gotta find more. Here's Foodie in the purple ball. Let me make it bigger for you guys. Because you have to have a close-up to take it all in. Do you see the Venus fly trap? Mm -hmm. There she is. Jeez. <laughs> this account cracks me up. Okay, let's find. Here's some more art. Scatman, just stay away. There's sperm everywhere and he's holding his poo, which is far bigger than his pecker. Um, oh, here's dank fupa art. Caption this. 
do I know you? Link in bio. Use my code. Who is that? My snacky box? Is that purple lasers? Is that her name? Here's more. It says, eat gets ready. I'm so excited to present the best sea, sea crap video. Foodie couldn't be ours to make. My uh, CPAP machine, I have a little wrap wrapping for you for my CPAP machine. This thing has been through a lot. It's been assaulted, defaced, and it's been around the world with me. Always by my side, CPAP pride. Peace. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Well, I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. I've been more places than you, but you act like you don't care. This machine has definitely seen hotel rooms that weren't very clean. I've had my nose removed in Gatineau, but that was years ago, though. Since then, I've been to Windsor, Ontario, visiting Carly Steele. It was a cool scenario. Then I got dragged to a Cuba resort. My own oration about relish or something of the sort. Now stamp that in my passport. Oh my another God. day, another airport security check. X-ray my machine, baby. I mean, what the heck? I ain't got okay. nothing to hide, only continuous air pressure pride. I keep my mama alive, and I don't take it in stride. Oh, I'm a CPAP machine, and I've been to more countries than you. I'm a CPAP machine, and I need some credit, because what I've been through is truly insane. My journey was scary, but I know carry, because sleep apnea is the one to blame. <laughs> I truly hope all of you are writing love songs to your CPAP. Those of you who use them, I want to hear them. I know it's amazing. <laughs> yes, he was, Danielle. Yes, he was. I just couldn't bring it to your attention while it was on screen. But yes, he was. In fact, if you want to zoom in really fast, you can before I disappear from this. Here's your opportunity. One, two, three. All right, it's going. It's going. Uh, let's see. More Foodie Beauty art from Girl Doodle. Oh, this is amazing. Hold on. Why does it keep going up? Oh my gosh. You guys see what it says? That's her fake rings for her fake marriage. All right. Let's look at a few more. Sperm everywhere. Oh my gosh. I can't zoom in. But there you go. There's your opportunity again. Here's Foodie. It's this nasty little troll. With her golden plunger that says Fupa Scratcher. Oh, I thought it was a plunger. I've heard that little gnome hat. She truly could go in somebody's garden. She could. She could. All right, let's see. I dare you to set this as your new profile or your new phone wallpaper. Oh my gosh. I love this account. I love it. All right, you guys. I think I showed you all like the fun ones. But if you're on Twitter, just search Girl Doodle and they have the most amazing stuff. It's the fart sounds for me. <laughs> that was pretty funny. The back scratcher. I thought it was a golden plunger. <laughs> I thought Salon needed a golden plunger. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I will see you later. I'm going to eat some lunch. But um, if Foodie does anything, we'll go live again. We'll be back. If she doesn't, I'll see you guys for a late night stream. We'll do a Foodie Beauty Twitter recap and we'll check out some Queen Cobra. I want to thank the mods for being amazing. Like, I trust you guys with everything. So thank you for always being here. Thank you so much to the Breezy Bunch members. Um, a lot of you guys have been with me since the beginning, and I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you even for listening right now or liking the stream, and I will see you guys later. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are, and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.